This is also why we've created the Global Federation of Competitiveness Councils. There are many competitiveness councils around the world. Some are totally private sector. Some are a mixture of hybrid, like you have here. But all of them are looking at these same questions we're talking about today. So we have put together the U.S. Council, this federation, where we're going to share best practices, learn from each other, and then come together every year around the world, we'll move this around the world, to come up with the 10 principles of competitiveness policy as the driver for growth and prosperity. We're very pleased that the founding members with us of this global federation are the councils of Brazil, Chile, <coughs> the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and we hope Russia and India about to join, and we very much like Canada as part of that group. This will be a very, very powerful business voice for the G20 as well. So we're transitioning between two great ages, an age in which physical resources were the main factors of production, to an age in which ideas, imagination, and creativity are the most important factors of production. And because of that, we have to optimize our societies around innovation and competitiveness. The real question for all of our government leaders and private sector leaders is not how to shore up the last days of the industrial age, but it's how do we build a creation nation, creation nations, to drive a new age of innovation. I'm an archaeologist, so I'm always looking back at the continuum of human civilization. My area of specialty is the Bronze Age, Aegean world, the time of Agamemnon and Homer and Troy, if you all know that period. But the Mycenaeans and Minoans were game changers and innovators. They were creators of science and technology. They were multidisciplinary. They had complex logistic supply chains. They valued the arts and humanities. Women were very important in their culture. They looked outward, not inward. And they were explorers and risk takers. All the things we need to do today if we are going to be innovators and take our children to the next stage of human development. Innovation is a race that has a beginning, but it never has an end. And we define it at the council as I to the fifth power. Innovation is the intersection of ideas, imagination, insight, invention, and impact. I for innovation, I for every human individual. We are all innovators. So let me leave you with a beautiful quote that I found actually coming back on the plane from Egypt this weekend in my passport. I was actually making sure that I had everything in order and I looked at the new passport I have and it has some beautiful quotes of American leaders. So this one I thought really should be a quote about the United States and Canada together. So I hope you like it. It is from Linda Johnson. Let me start a quote. For this is what America is all about. It is the uncrossed desert and the unclimbed ridge. It is the star that is not reached and the harvest sleeping in the unplowed ground. Is our world gone? We say farewell. Is a new world coming? We welcome it. And we will bend it to the hopes of man. <coughs> so with that, I look forward to working with you today I congratulate you for developing the strategy. I think it will be the uh, impetus for the movement in Canada, and the U.S. Council stands ready to collaborate with you across many, many fronts. So thank you for having with me, me with you today.